G'day guys, how's it going? It's Gary from Compsci Guy IT. Uh, in this video, we're going to start creating our switch blueprint. But mainly, what we're going to be doing is going over how I managed to create the materials I applied to uh, the objects in our level, just using the pre existing materials we already have. So, to start off with, I'm going to go into our um, bomb blueprint. You'll notice that we haven't applied a material to this, it's still just the, the boring base color that it's always got. Um, what we want to do is go into our details panel, move down to uh, rendering, and add an element to the material. So this will allow us to apply materials to our bomb here. So I'm going to go back into our starter content and apply something directly from the starter content. I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to go with the, the copper metal. And apply it to there. I think that looks fine for our bomb. So just remember to compile and save. And we'll get out of here. Next, our stage. It's um, just got this boring gray color to it. It's got a nice marble finish, which I like. Uh, but I think we can do something better with the actual color. So what I want to do is find it in our um, starter content. Here, here it is. And I want to make a copy of it and place it in the materials of our assets up here. So just drag it over to materials, copy here. Wait for it to finish doing the whole copying process. Okay, I'm we'll going to here and double click. As you can see, it's a rather complex material. There's a lot going on, but we're not going to be concerned with what's going on there. All we want to do is come over here to where it has base color. And we'll notice that multi we've got this multiply node connected to the base color. We're going to go into our palette, drag in a blend overlay, and connect the multiply to our blend overlay. Next, in our palette, we'll go down to parameters, which is further down this way. Parameters. Okay, here we are. And we're going to drag in a vector parameter. We can also hold down V, because of um, anything that has a, a letter next to it over here. Uh, we can hold down V and left click, and it will place um, that particular uh, node in our graph here. I'll just change the name to color. And I'll connect that up to our blend overlay. And I'll connect result to base color so we can see what's going on. Now obviously the color that we have here is black, so it's um, going to be a black color if we apply it. I don't want to go with black, although black might be quite nice. I might change it to blue now up here and notice that nothing's going on so I'll just move this around a little bit get it, get it moving okay now I'll notice that in the in the new section here we've got a color change so that's what we want drag this value up a little bit so it makes it nice and light. I won't go too light, but I think that'll look pretty good. Bring the saturation all the way up. Okay, let's see how that looks. I think I might go a little bit lighter actually. that yeah I think that'll look pretty good on marble so we'll uh, click save wait for it to save okay. close and now while our stage is selected we'll select the material and apply the material in the details panel there we go 
I think that looks much better than grey. So, um, next we'll move on to our switch. So the way I created the switch was I just went into our um, props of our starter content, went to material sphere and used the static mesh of that. Just right click on that, go up to asset actions, create blueprint using this. So rename it BP switch. Select it in our components and go down to rendering where we can create um, a material for it. So add an element. We'll go into our starter content of our materials. And I want to go with the, the lake water effect. So I'm going to drag that into the materials of our assets and copy there. And I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to want um, two different materials applied to our switch at different times. One for active and one for inactive. So duplicate. I'll just rename this one um, material switch. Oops. Inactive. And I'll name this one Material Switch Active. Okay, now I'll double click on the active one. Like the uh, other material, there's a lot going on here. You can check it out, see what's going on if you want. Um, but all we're concerned about is the base color, changing the base color. Now we won't have to bring in any, any extra nodes. It already has a color parameter assigned to it. So we can double, just double click on that, drag to make it a green color, a bright green, bring the value up a bit, and hit OK. Now it's got this nice bright green color. Save. Close this up. Now I'm going to do the same with the inactive switch. Instead of green though, I'm going to make it red so I'll drag it over and make it a nice deep red colour. That'll, that'll be fine. It's more pinky than red. I wanted a deep red. I might have to drag it across this way. There you go. Yeah that's better. Never satisfied. <laughs> right in between there okay I think yeah, that's, yeah I think that's fine didn't want it too red I didn't want it too pink it's kind of like right in the middle um, and hit save now I want to make the switches base color green so when it starts off it's always going to be green and active so the way we do that is just by going into blueprints, into our switch, um, we've got uh, a material already to go here, to be assigned to it. I'll just make sure I've selected it, which I probably haven't. There we go. I'll select it there and apply it here. And there we go. So now when we drag this in, it's always going to be green to start off with. And um, like by the way, if, uh, if you don't see this, you can just create it by adding elements here if you don't see a material already ready to go. So, let's hit compile, save, and now we're done. I won't go into creating the blueprints for our switch just yet. There's a little bit involved in that, so I'll just save that for the next video. So, um, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you gave you a few ideas on how you can create your own kind of um, materials using the pre-existing materials in the engine it's just a matter of just experimenting playing around and seeing what happens basically um, I'm sure there's a bunch of tutorials um, that you can go check out that uh, to do with materials um, I haven't ha actually had too much time to have a look at it just yet um, at least in the, the official Unreal Engine videos but um, that's something that I'll do in the future 
just for now I'm just playing around and seeing what happens when I do stuff so it's often sort of like a good way to learn so yeah I hope you got something out of it hope you enjoyed and um, like favorite subscribe all that sort of stuff and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be getting into blueprints awesome see you later